Unfortunately, breaking news, friends, we have another bridge in crypto that has paused, been hacked, exploited, who the hell cares? This whole industry is just full of disappointments, isn't it? So I'm here to give you a quick tutorial on this before I go through this quick news. I want to show you that you should be periodically revoking access to your wallets. You can never be too sure when you give a website access, a DeFi, any protocol access to your wallet, you can never be sure what's coming around the corner. Sometimes the, the creators, the devs themselves leave little, little backdoor exploits so they can access your wallet and they can spend your coins without you being there. You don't need to approve anything. A hardware wallet won't save you. Once you give access to a protocol to expend your coins, that's it. It's done, okay? So what I've done is I've just found this random address from Dex Screener, somebody who actually coincidentally dumped Pulsex, and I've just clicked on these addresses. So this is revoke.cash, okay? So I'm going to show you right now. Revoke, CRP, revoke.cash. I'll put the description. I'll put the link in the description, okay? And when you come down here, you will have to click up here and connect your wallet. And what you will do is you will go down. It will show you everything that's actually connected to this wallet. You have to spend, now this is on Ethereum, right? Unfortunately, it's one or $2 US to do each one, but better to be safe than sorry. But look, I want to tell you something. You don't need to authorize or remove, you don't need to remove Uniswap. When you see Uniswap here, you don't need to remove it. Aave, you don't need to remove it. I mean, if they, look, if they were going to hack these things, it's they were, there's $10 billion sitting there for like two years. <laughs> they would have done it by now, okay? So you also don't need to remove one inch, Okay, so I'm just telling you, one inch, Uniswap, Aave. But when it comes to anything else, don't trust it. So I have this random kind sir wallet that I found, wallet 1AB6. If you see here, he has the old OpenSea. I would not trust anything to do with JPEGs, okay? He has Olympus. I don't know what this is. This is the legacy Olympus DAO. This is GOM. This is um, the uh, another Olympus DAO, probably from the old website or the new website. Who knows? Okay, he's also got here Network, Network Land, and Network Transports. I don't know what this is. You can see these different websites. You can never be too sure. You don't know exactly what's going on here. Sometimes you just you have to go through, revoke these. So you clear this button here, revoke, connect to what? Click on revoke, spend the one or two dollars, and then you can sleep at night. You are not going to wake up with an exploit. You see, unfortunately, when it comes to these bridges, friends, you have to give the bridge access to be able to move stuff around. And if let's say you want to bridge Ethereum over, well, you've just granted the bridge access to spend your Ethereum. And if there's there have been hackers who come in and do some backdoor way and they are able to control the bridge itself and they're able to do a big fat poopy on you and you don't want to do that. So this person here is in Ryoshi. You can see just all these random ones like UFO, you know, just like these. So obviously, so even though these tokens are poopy, it was on Uniswap itself. So you can be a bit stimpy. You don't have to go through that, okay? So you just got to make sure with these different ones, you know, sandbox. I mean, don't trust anything, friends. I'm telling you, the only thing I would trust is Uniswap. If you still don't want to trust Uniswap, that's completely fine. I Honestly, I don't even trust OpenSea. I don't trust any of them. I don't know how to read the code. You don't either, most likely. You are a baby doll, baby cake. But unfortunately, when it comes to this, it just takes one mistake to mess it up. So you should be doing this once in a while. You go through, you just go through these and you just revoke, revoke, revoke. You got to be big, super careful. Now, obviously, I strongly recommend you have two wallets. You have your cold wallet that you use that you do not touch, okay? D N. T, do not touch, okay? You play with your little poopy hot wallet. It's a hot steaming pile of poop, okay? And he's a little hot wallet. He's little flames, okay? The flames are going to have smiley faces as well. So you have your little hot wallet. Hot wallet is probably just your fast access one. It's probably on MetaMask. You click on MetaMask, you create a wallet. It doesn't link to your hardware wallet, and you don't have to do any of the, the, um, the confirming of the transactions. But if you separate them, you will significantly decrease the chance that you get pooped on. It's very important you take this seriously. I'm telling you right now, all it takes is one. Just click one time. Please make sure that you are safe. So revoke.cash is a website I use. You can also use another one. It's called unwrecked.net. So here is the description up here, unwrecked.net. But they all do the same things. Sometimes, I mean, I don't really trust them. I'll just go through every single one just to see 
just in case they're missing one, you know, just you just want to look for, what you want to do is you want to look for ones that you don't recognize them. See, authorized spender, right? You just want to have a look for like, oh, what's this? I don't recognize this address. Revoke it out. That's what you want to do. And now because you're a baby doll, baby cake, unfortunately, we have to go through, look at this, $1.256 billion berries, unfortunately, paused on this bridge. This is very critical. Bridges can be really dangerous because you're dealing with multiple chains. I don't really know how, how all this works, friends. I'm telling you about all these smarty pant coders with their checkered shirts. They got pens in the front pocket. You just you can't be too sure. One mistake, you lose it. Look, I, I'll be honest. I know people, unfortunately, okay, they lost, they got hacked right before the bull run in 2020. I know this. There's a couple of people and it, it's very... It's, it breaks my heart. So I'm here. I'm trying to help you. Maybe you have friends and family. Do you have mom, dad, brother, sister? Do you have friends out there that haven't done this? Go and do it for them. Go and do it for them. You come here, you put the website, just do it for them. Show them that, hey, you know, crypto can giveth, but also it can taketh. It's full of disappointments and we're here to laugh with the memes together. But trust me, you don't want to be one of the unfortunate memes where everybody looks at you and says, wow, I'm so glad I didn't lose all my money like that guy. No one wants to be that person. I'm here to protect you, okay? I'm here to warn you right now. So unfortunately, multi-chain, previously any swap, stopped currently, all bridge transactions will be stuck. There is no confirmed resume time. Please don't use the bridge. This is what happens. I mean, these bridges, man, uh, there's a new bridge every three months, six months. Everyone says it's great. I don't know what's going on. It just, you got to be super careful. Don't provide any of the liquidity in these. Don't trust any of these bridges. It's not worth it. They can't pay you enough money to put any of this at risk. Okay, so I mean, all of these, look at this. Reminder, all users are suggested to claim their refund and revoke app approvals to multi-chain immediately. So exactly what I just showed you. They're telling you, hey, revoke, revoke, just in case. Ah, So please, also for your friends and family listening, do not trust the marketing from the Twitter Roonies of these people. Do not trust it. These people, remember, they have a marketing team. They have people following. Look at this. They're speaking to 32,000 people who are like devoted users. They're not going to come and say, ah, ah, it's on fire. It's on fire. They're not going to come and say that. They're going to come and be in denial. Be like, nah, it's all right. Just be careful out there. You better revoke your contract addresses. They're going to say this subtly. They're not going to put it in big fat capital letters like I am to telling you, warning, warning, avoid the trap. They won't say it. So you're not going to hear the proper marketing messages from them. That's why, luckily, you do have a friend. And yes, I have kept my posture so straight for the entirety of this recording for you, friends, because you deserve it. You deserve a good posture. You will straighten your back. And I'd like to finish off with this, friends. You see this number, 1.256 billion. Okay, so unfortunately, what happens is, look, this is the dark side of crypto. When you see big amounts of money, you first think, Wait a minute. If it was dangerous, that money would have been taken by now. That is a trap. Okay, there's a trap. Because a lot of these subhuman beneath cockroach beings, which I can't even call humans, they're not even people, okay? These people, they will eventually get hooked up with people who devise ways that know how to do exploits on certain protocols that exist. They are predators waiting. So there are exploits that exist out there that have not been done yet. You know why? Because the people doing it, they are working in the background to get hooked up with the right people to know how to, say, bribe the right Ethereum miner to do the transaction. Also, they want to know the real mechanics. They want to make sure that they can move in and out and that they can tornado cash the money and they can launder it out. So they have to plan all of this before the exploit. There are exploits out there and they're actively planning right now. So don't think, okay, if something was going to blow up, it's safe right now. It's not. The only reason why I even said to you, and obviously this is your, your risk here, okay? You have to take this for yourself. The only reason why... I am okay with Uniswap and one inch is just because Uniswap was personally read by Vitalik himself. Yes, the alien. Vitalik, the archangel of DJs, us DJs, he personally read through the code. And I'm thinking, well, you know what? If that guy misses something, I deserve to lose all my money. Okay. That's tongue in cheek. You shouldn't think like that. If you can't sleep at night, friends, just press this button everywhere. Just get rid of it. Just go on a spray, just delete them all, delete them all so you can sleep at night safely, please. Once you revoke all of these, they can't spend your coins without your approval. This is exactly what you want. And friends, of course, now you can see why 
when you deviate out of mainnet Ethereum, you do incur risk. You are now seeing it right now. There are these explosions. Sure, maybe we get away unscathed, but we know around us, buildings do explode. Nuclear warheads go off. There's billions of dollars at risk. Nothing is completely 100% safe. This is why it is recommended in the next bull market. If we are graced with the ability to have the foresight to be able to get out, get your money out, you pay your nice taxes, you pay to the government, okay? They pay their fair share. We sit down and we're like, okay, we only buy the depth the depths of the destruction and depression. You maybe diversify your portfolio a bit and you just sit down because constantly coming back into crypto with all these bunny hop and all these dude left, right, up, down, left, right, bridges around, it's only going to increase the risk of ruin again. But you know what it's not going to increase the risk of? Our friendship breaking because that can't be broken. Thank you. Like, subscribe, bell button, all. Tell mom and dad, please revoke every address you can. I'm going to catch you in the next one.